Good evening, everybody. We are not prepared for the weather that we had tonight. <laughs> yeah, it was like 80 degrees earlier today, but now it dropped to 58 on the drive over to Epcot. So, which is still great weather. Yeah. We just didn't Did come not. too prepared. Yeah, he just got shorts on. I got short sleeves on. He's the got baby's a bald prepared head. at least. Yeah, he's in the carrier right now, absorbing my body heat. <laughs> We're meeting up with Megan and Katie. You really don't have plans. It's just. Which is weird because it's our last Friday. Like. Yeah, Friday night a at week, Epcot. A week from right now, we'll be. Sarah will be in Chicago, and I'll be hopefully in Illinois. Oh my goodness. Around this time, or close to it. So surreal. We also mentioned that it's raining. I found two Brook Car boys. Um, why are you not in your carrier? He was not happy in the carrier. <laughs> Look at what else we found. So cute. Flower and garden. It's a coming. I'm sad that we're not going to be here. Yeah. Huh. Huh. <laughs> you get Katie's attention. These two have cute spear jerseys on. I like the back on this one better. Yeah. Oh I my feel gosh. okay about this, but I love that one. Ah! I want that one hard. I want you that. You will feel more about this when you go to the UK. Ooh. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're being left out. He's like, I'm cute over here. Look at my Mickey outfit. Woo! <laughs> So it's 7.30, parks up until 8. We think we just bamboozled the rider swap system. <laughs> My o the only downside to this is I don't know if that means that Sarah will get on. Because I'm, I'm, I don't know if the cast member will, will afterwards will be like, oh no, it's fine, you, she can go now too. Yeah, right. So we went to go set up rider swap because it's 7.30, the ride's 45 minutes, James needs a snack. So we're like, we'll wait the 45 minutes. But the park's gonna be closed when we get out. So we walk up, we're like, hey, we're gonna do a baby swap, but like, we don't know if she'll be able to go on after. And she's like, well, who's going on now? And we're like, us three. And so she let us in, but let us in through the fast pass. Yeah. So now, like, I can already hear the queue is like right here. Yeah. And we're just continuing forward. Like, we're about to get on in like five minutes. But maybe she did that because of, it wouldn't maybe work she out. Just being kind. Maybe it's a magical moment. They exist. They do. Um, we're not even gonna wait five minutes. There's not even like all the way down at the end of the halls the distribution to the different areas. This is absurd, you two. Magic. Soon you will be here. So if you or your little lady ears have the fear of flying or flying, I'm going for your party in a while. We actually worked out baby swap where I'm able to go on with like five minutes of park time to spare. So the girls get to go on a second time. And Stephanie was super nice and just got it all situated. So Peter and James are hanging out. James is asleep. And I was so worried I wouldn't get to do this ride before we left. So I'm super happy. All right, they, uh, it wasn't a fluke. I mean, I think the whole experience was a magical moment, but they got in. Uh, Megan and Katie went with Sarah and they just got to go up the fast pass line, so with a 45 minute wait, I really don't think it's, it's listed as a 45 minutes, but looking at the line, I don't think it really is 45 minutes. They have all three screens going. Um, Sarah was able to give this little guy a snack. He's snoozing for the time being. We waited like five minutes to get on and I, hopefully they only have to wait five minutes because the park closes in three minutes and then we're going to go do uh, an air heart loop around World Showcase, which like we haven't done a very authentic one. Like we're gonna start World Showcase after park close. So we haven't done that in a long time. Very excited. I'm also very sad and very emotional. 
and I just think it's going to be non-stop between now and uh, forever. So that's what happens. He's also holding my thumb. We're in the middle and on the highest row. Usually I have to request this. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the under-seat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, big cases. Oh my goodness! Sorry, it's like we're at Flowering Garden. I think we have people who usually go to Canada first. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot you guys are Canada. Ah, if we're over there, we'll go that way. But like, if we start at the front, we're very much yeah. so Mexico Pavilion first. Well, we just put two and two together that the festival is ending this weekend. So we're gonna come as much as we possibly can. I feel personally victimized by Epcot right now. Yeah. And I feel kind of betrayed. Yeah. We've been hating on Magic Kingdom because like three seconds after Magic Kingdom closed, they start shutting off all the lands. Yeah. We were here like an hour and a half after park closed the other day. And granted, I know Castamore's gotta go home, but we just tried to go through Mexico first. And that Castamore was there. And was Stop like, us. You can't go. You can't go through. And I was like, Never I'll try to go to the National Gateway. Before. And they're like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You gotta go the other way. So now I'm nervous that we're gonna get cut off I know. by France. Don't they get that we have to do a loop? My baby needs to go to, to America. That's what I'm, I'm just, you see this baby? This and baby Japan. has to go to Japan. So we made it to France and as we passed France, James was getting quite upset. We think he's hungry. There wasn't a cast member yet this way to stop us. My thought is because Beer Garden and some of those other restaurants are still open and like people are still finishing their dinner that maybe going this way around World Showcase, they wouldn't have stopped us. But we also know it's late and we shouldn't be going this late around. So we're gonna go back to UK because we think that's like the last area for them to really clear out because of being in between the front of the park and the International Gateway. And Sarah's gonna nurse Jamesy boy a little bit. I don't know if Megan and Katie are gonna chill with us for a little bit while that happens or if they're gonna head out. Cause it's nine o'clock, but. I love this World Showcase, especially at night. Look at it in all its, its glory. It's my favorite place in all of Walt Disney World, right here at World Showcase. Yep. Wednesday is going to be a tough, tough day. Yes, if you come to Flower and Garden, make sure you do the tea tour that they do at the UK Pavilion because it's very fun and delicious. But they're setting it up now. We're finally leaving the park, but there's a little bunny. That is a big, for Florida standards, that's a Disney bunny. That, that lives only in Epcot and eats up all the festival food. Because the rest of the bunnies outside of Disney are sticks. Am I emotionally eating? Yes. Am I still distraught? Megan is like really Yes. Megan's really good Oh, I didn't realize you I was vlogging. <laughs> I was you know Megan, my cousin. Oh, your cousin? Yeah. Well. Did you know I'm about to emotionally eat McDonald's? Cause I am. We're home and we have a clean package baby. Make a crazy face. Do your crazy face. <laughs> there it is. These, this calendar will be done. It will be. Today is the 19th by Anonymous. Maybe the journey isn't so much about becoming anything. Maybe it's about unbecoming everything that isn't you so you can be who you were meant to be in the first place. Is that supposed to be why we moved here? Today's been an emotional roller coaster. Hey, my name's Eve. I'm a Florida girl. They keep talking about going somewhere cold. She really has spent most of her life here. She was, what, 
four months, five months old. When we moved here? She was four months old when we got here, so she was seven months old. So she was seven months old when she moved here. Now she's four. Mm -hmm. You're a big girl. You ready for Chicago? We, we have a sweater for you. There's a really nice dog store around the corner from our apartment. I hope that big dog is still there. There's this like Beethoven dog that just sits in the, in the middle of this dog store on the north side right by our, our new apartment. scratched himself. It's good to be home. <laughs> this I know. It's good to be home. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, what? When we what? Um, good evening, everybody. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every I day. I uh, um, urge to flick you. Do it. Just do it. You missed. If you're going to do it, just do it. <laughs> it's like slap skipping. I'm not going to do it. It's good to be home. Okay, that was a good time to say it. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.